Hi Mike. I wanted to do a reply to your latest response to my video on the afterlife. You have a lot of substance there and I could engage in it, but I actually want to focus on one of the more preliminary points you made, the question of honesty. You charged me with being dishonest, claiming I represented myself as having a degree in theology when in fact my degree is in philosophy. As evidence of this, you pointed to a thread in one of your earlier videos in which I told you I got my PhD from Rice University. After you expressed your doubts, I posted the link to the official details of my dissertation defense in which it was abundantly clear that my degree was in philosophy. So not only did I not claim that my degree was in theology, I gave you the details which said my degree was in fact in philosophy. But you conveniently, some might even say dishonestly, chose to ignore that fact in your presentation of our exchange. Guess you didn't want the truth getting in the way of your case that you can't trust atheists, eh? Which brings me to my next point. For at least the second time in your videos, you brought up John Locke's letter concerning toleration and quoted him as stating that you can't trust atheists. This makes me wonder, have you even read John Locke's letter concerning toleration? I suspect you haven't. Or if you have, then you either didn't understand it, or you were just dishonest about what it says. Let's take a look, shall we? Here's my copy of Locke's Letter Concerning Toleration. You can see it right there, Letter Concerning Toleration. And here is the passage that you quoted. Lastly, those are not at all to be tolerated who deny the being of a god. Promises, covenants, and oaths, which are the bounds of human society, can have no hold upon an atheist. Okay, so far, fair enough. Locke is quite clear. He thinks you can't trust atheists. But let's take a look one paragraph prior to that passage, shall we? Here we go. Again, the Catholic Church can have no right to be tolerated by the magistrate, which is constituted upon such a bottom that all those who enter into it do thereby ipso facto deliver themselves up to the protection and service of another prince. For by this means, the magistrate would give way to the settling of a foreign jurisdiction in his own country and suffer his own people to be listed, as it were, for soldiers against his own government. Did you catch that, Mike? Locke says that not only can you not trust atheists, he says you can't trust Catholics. So Locke, whom you have been appealing to as your ally, says that you are untrustworthy. The only difference is that unlike your claim about atheists, our exchange here seems to provide ample justification for Locke's distrust of Catholics.